I have chit chat because I just have a bunch of things and cars to talk about. Got glasses in case I need them. Oh yeah, I think I was going to talk about my favorites of the month. Um, I'm very fickle and I use all kinds of different things, but this month I wanted to go back and get into my MAC shadows. So I pulled out, these are my more shimmery neutrals, um, anywhere from satin taupe, tempting, sable, woodwind, woodwinged, uh, patina, and what else did I use? Bronze. So, you know, just these kind of bronzy colors. But also, I, you know, the old eyes are getting older and older. I like the um, matte. So I have kind of a matte um, neutral one, and I kept getting into the cork. Okay, maybe I should point. The cork and mystery. Well, let me let me name them, and then I'll point, because it's just too hard to look. And, uh, mystery, cork, brulee, a copper plate. I got into po copper plate in a big way and I got back to using it on my eyebrows and it's actually the best color for me. This is the dip brow in medium brown. It's kind of dark. And the gels are harder to work with than the powders. And pencils are the easiest. So anyway, um, I got a Swiss chocolate for my Back to Mac quite a while ago and I've hardly used it. Um, What's the other one? Oh, and I've been using a lot of NYX's Haywire, and I depotted it and put it in there. And my depots are kind of a mess. That's the um, Swiss chocolate. It's been a while since I depotted it, so I kind of ruined it. But it's, well, it's not ruined. I can use it, but it's not pretty anymore. I got, uh, I know, it's Estee Lauder, but I got their funny little brush uh, for foundation. And when I first got it, I was like, oh, why did I get this? But I'm getting used to it, and I like the short, little, stiff bristles, and the sales lady said you're supposed to push your foundation up. Well, I don't know how to... So I, I try pushing it up, and then I get it all over, and then I just rub it in. But what this little point's good for is getting right around your nose, and right in your eyes, and right underneath, and then it's kind of this crescent shape. So when I go over my brow, kind of, you know, because, yeah, you, brow, but you know, you're getting it on your lid. Um, if your lash glue doesn't stick in your eye, it stays up when you close your eye. But anyway, it goes really well like that and um, pushes it in. So I'm getting used to it, and I'm liking it better. Um, if I went in and had somebody actually teach me how to use it, it would be really cool. I've been using a lot of my bio oil because on my shin, a stupid, it must be spider because I never saw it, bit me. And it didn't hurt. It didn't even itch. But it blistered. Oh my gosh, so for a month I had, well, probably for a week I had the blister and I was like, ooh, maybe I should pop it. So I just kind of touched it with a needle and pfft, that was the end of that. And didn't hurt. And, and then you get hair in your eye. Uh, so then it, it uh, scabbed. Isn't this a wonderful subject? It scabbed and it stayed that way for about a month. You know, just kind of healing, scabby, bleh. And I started putting this stuff on and then the scab came off. <laughs> Anyway, now it's just this red kind of scarry looking thing. So I'm putting this on all the time, trying to get rid of it. What kind of spider was that? I mean, it didn't even affect me, just just locally. All right. I haven't used a whole lot, but I do like, and I think it's rosewood, but it's number 04 of Burberry's lipstick. And it's just a nice neutral when I feel like throwing something on. And, you know, just a $30 lipstick that you just throw on. But there, you get it to spin around. Um, but anyway, it's fun. This is all for fun, right? I've been using every day my dim because I used up that uh, prep and prime from MAC. Anyway, so I've been using my dim light every day. Boy, it's kind of dusty. Darn. <laughs> anyway, I like it. And when it runs out, I'm not sure what I'll do. Uh, cause I got other stuff I should use up, so I'll use that up. I've got that IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, so I'll do that, and then I think I'm out. So then I'll probably get another one of these. I would, uh, of course I'm tempted to do a different color, but why mess with something that already works? I've been using, cause I'm trying to learn to use up my concealers, and this will never use up, but it's the MAC Select Cover Up, and this one is in D, in DW, NW20. DW, isn't that a, it's a character? <laughs> oh yeah, kid cartoon. Um, boy, that before it came out of nowhere. I have been using every day my Makeup Forever number 335 uh, cream, blush cream. 
I love it. Um, I guess since it's winding up kind of a contour, but I put it on first and then I put on a blush and I really like that. Um, I'm piling this on my lap and I hope it doesn't, oh there it goes, fall off. Alright, I have been using a lot of Outlaw, NARS Outlaw, and that goes on top of that blush cream. No, I don't have it on, so why am I doing that? But anyway, there's the Outlaw. Hold things up longer, Susan. And today I have on, I finally broke down because I've been trying to use up things, you know, like glosses and lipsticks, which the lipsticks are never going to use up. So um, I've been saving this uh, Bite Beauty uh, for Lips Suede. I was saving it because it was new and everything, but it's kind of a, I was thinking, oh, that'll be a fall color. So that's what I have on. Let me roll it down a little bit. And there it is, if you can see swatched. I don't know. I had a camera with display then. I might, you know, know what I was doing. <laughs> I've been using a lot of uh, pink sugar. This is their roll on. Actually, it's mine. <laughs> I used a bottle and I put my version of the uh, roll on. I used jojoba <laughs> oil. And why did I swatch that? Oh my lord. Well, we'll go like that. <laughs> smells divine. It's kind of a powdery, sweet. Oh, come here. No, don't eat those rotten apples. Come here. Come here. Will you come here? You want to come over here? See? Oops, there went that. Come here. I'm not going to come. He says, I'm going to do what I want to do. He's kind of like a cat. No! Back up. Back up. Come here. Come here. No! What are you going to do? All right, so... Today I have on, before the horse drives me crazy, Dolce Vita! Hi. Come here. Come here. Hey. There we are. Say hello to everybody. With ear grass. Oh, he almost went right into it. Oh, mister. There, you made your appearance. Now you can go over there and eat. Come on. Now, that's a good boy. <laughs> They're like cats. All right, so Dolce Vita is on top of my, that uh, 335 cream. So Dolce Vita and makeup forever got together. Uh, I do like Dolce Vita. I just haven't worn it as much this sh sh fall because I have discovered out lot. I have on, well before the pink sugar swatch, I, I have a sample of Laura Mercier Tarte au Citron. <laughs> Tarte Citrons. No, oh, okay. And uh, I had a sample of the shower gel and the exfoliator, and this is the body cream. Mmm, it's on the same order as the pink sugar. It's just kind of creamy, and this one's lemony or citrusy. And the last thing on this box to show you is I have on the Too Faced Matte Eye, and I used the bottom one of the lavenders today. Now, a horse is going to go behind here and go for those. I pitched out some rotten pears because I have a box, a bucket of pears that I give him when he goes in his stall. Well, they started rot, so I threw them out here. And guess where we are? We're out here. <laughs> God. And there's a bunch of bees in them, and he kind of doesn't like the bees <laughs> for a good reason. That's what you get when you film with a horse or an animal. W.C. Fields was right. All right. So, a couple of new things to show you. Um, daughter found in the dollar store, and she said, I'm not going to get you the black and white ones, Mom. <laughs> what am I wearing? Black and white. Oh, she gave me these earrings, too. We were in Hawaii, and I saw them, and I was like, oh, are they pretty? And she bought them for a girlfriend. So I was like, yeah, no, that's good. I shouldn't buy them. And at the time, I never wore gold. And she gave them to me for Christmas, a little sneak. <laughs> and anyway, ah. So she went to the dollar store, and look what she found for my nails. Aren't they funny? So I think they're more springy, so I had to show you. I was going to wear them, but they're so springy. I I, no, then in the spring, I'll wear them. Then um, I have this bag from Chanel. So, um, you know, you can't throw anything out, so I had it and had it and had it. And I had a NARS bag that I was using for a jewelry bag when I travel. But then when I was in Fred Meyer, I got a little mirror, and it's got magnifying, and, you know, you can set it up. Because I hate putting on makeup in motels. 
I can't do a darn thing there. It's like, okay, well, I think the liner, go it feels like the liner's going on, right? So this is for travel. I have a little traveling mirror. And find the rest of the stuff that went flying. Of course, was a problem. Then, oh, I have a little contest at the very end here. A really little contest. Uh, books. Uh, somebody, my, well, it's, it was my kid's middle school teacher, and she built the cabinets in my, in my little vacation rental co cottage. Can't talk. And she told me about this author, Alan Bradley. And the first one was called The Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie. And I read that, and it was okay. And I was at the library, and I didn't have any other authors to look up. So I got the second book, which is The, the Weed That Strings the Hangman's Bag. And now I'm getting hooked into it. It's still not as good as Maisie Dobbs, but it's this 11-year-old. This is in England, and it's this 11-year-old. I can't quite tell. It's in the 50s, maybe? Anyway, it's this 11-year-old girl, and she's got two older sisters, and they all do the sibling rivalry. They hate each other and all that. And her father uh, is just kind of a mugwump and, you know, just is into his stamps. And her mother died right after she was born, or maybe she was three or something. Anyway, and then she kind of solves the murders in the town. And she's very scientific in this big old manor house or whatever. It's huge and it has wings and everything. And her wing, her Uncle Tar died. But he, because he owned the house, you know, in history, uncle a long time ago, um, was a scientist. And so she's got all his tubes and laboratory and books and stuff. And she's taught herself all these things. So she solves these things through chemistry. It's really interesting. And it's really neat for an 11 year old to be that smart. Um, another book I was going to talk about, because I don't know anything about it, is Blue Latitudes by Tony Horowitz. Uh, Jessica sent it. She got it for 25 cents, I think, at her library. And she read it and said it was really good and sent it to me. And so John and I are going to read it and then we're going to send it to my sister and mom. And maybe in time for Christmas, who knows. But anyway, um, it's where Captain Cook, uh, his travels around boldly going where Captain Cook has gone before. So that will be interesting. Now for the contest. See, I didn't even bring any soap up. I was I was going to not bring it because I thought, oh, I've been advertising too much. But then I've been making some really interesting ones. I've been doing some lush dupes, you guys. Um, you know, like snow cakes and snow fairy, only I don't call it that. I call it winter fairy. And then yesterday I made, uh, gosh, what was it? Snow angels, which wasn't lush. And it's a uh, kind of a baby powder Christmas scent. So I guess that's why the angel part or the snow. Anyway, um, and then I made one called Christmas Tree. Oh, does it smell good? And I found a dupe, it's not here yet, for uh, that Times Fraser Fur. Love that, but it's so expensive, so I'm gonna make it. So, there. Anyway, my contest is going to be for a, a Allure subscription because I need to renew mine, and you get two for one free. Let's cover up my part of the thing. It's Allure. I need to renew my subscription, and when I do that, I can add a friend for free. So if you don't get an uh, Allure subscription, uh, well, I want comments. So if you already get Allure, in your comment, tell me you already get it, and then I'll, you know, throw that name away. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but um, if you don't get Allure, and you want to get Allure magazine, it's all about makeup, and... Um, then I'll just fill your name and address in here. You have to be in the United States, sorry, but uh, that's just the way it goes. Um, it's free. <laughs> anyway, uh, I will enter your name to go on that, and I'll do a random thing. Um, I don't get that many comments, so I'll probably just take all your names, put them in a bowl, and stir them up, and pull it out. I'd have him pull it, but he'd eat it. <laughs> so anyway, if you don't get Allure Magazine and would like it, um, please comment on my video. And, oh, of course you have to be a subscriber. I mean, that goes without saying. So, I think that's it for now. Earrings, I told you about them. I told you about all the makeup. I got this at either Target or Fred Meyer. I was in, um, Bellevue, I think, with my girlfriend. And it's really funny. It has an... I know I need to go, but it has an opening in the back, so you have to wear a tank top with it. But I thought it was pretty. So...
before there's too much traffic and he eats too much more grass. I'll see you next time. And thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you and I do appreciate all your comments. You can see because I'm dangling a carrot in front of you to get more. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.